Assalamu alaikum students, I am your social studies teacher Fatima Heather. hope you all are doing well. First of all congratulations from my side to, for being promoted to grade 4 and wishing you the very best of luck to all of you uh, for your future endeavors. As we all know that our online classes have started and inshallah we'll, our mission is to keep our students in touch with their academics so we'll, we are trying our best to do so. Uh, so open your books page number one and the first portion of our book is related to geography as we all la know that the geography in geography we all study the facts related to the earth and space so the first lesson uh, in the uh, geography part is the earth and space in this chapter we will learn about the different terms related to the earth the shape of the earth uh, astronauts spaceships space bar, space bar satellite axis rotation revolution equator and hemisphere i will brief each and every term so before we start i wanted you people to think that uh, what is the shape of the earth from the childhood we always hear that earth is round is it round is it exactly round no the shape of the earth is not exactly round it is round to some extent but it is not completely round i can give you the example have you ever feel that the surface of the earth on which you stand the park where you go this land of the school where you visit every land on our planet is usually flattened all right so that's why i can say that some portion of the earth might be flattened are you getting my point so it is not exactly round it is flattened from the north pole to the and south pole from the bottom and the top for you people i uh, uh, i can give i can show you the picture to show your clarity Just like as you can see in the picture, the shape of the earth is not completely round. It is kind of elliptical or oval. It is flattened from the top and the bottom, from the north pole and the south pole. So this shape is known as an elliptical shape. Hundreds of years ago, people had the various ideas about the earth, about its location. Some people had the opinion that earth might be the center of the earth. Earth, sorry, earth might be the center of the universe, but it is not. If, if you see the solar system, so you can find the earth is a third planet to the sun. Number one is Mercury, then Venus, then earth. Earth is the most feasible place for living. Mars jupiter saturn uranus and then neptune but earth is the only planet on which the life exists no other planets is feasible is suitable for the life so it is now clear that earth is not the center of the universe it is the third planet of the universe but who find it who would the person find it so astronauts astronaut are those person who visit the space who have been sent into the space through a spaceship and find the facts and figures related to the earth so neil armstrong was the first person who has been landed onto the moon too Besides the spaceship, some other machines called the space brobs also have been sent to the space to know about more of the universe. Some of the galaxies they find, some of the other things they find, the asteroids, the comets they find, some of the other facts and figures related to Mars, related to Moon has also been found. 
as we all know that in the recent years scientists especially nasa the famous organization related to the uh, spaceship um, started their studies relating to the planet called mars the neighboring planet of the earth they also studied a lot of things regarding the universe and regarding the moon so for that purpose they sent the spaceships and the space props these spaceships and the space props have uh, installed a little cameras on it to find out some of the pictures as you can see in the on the page number 1 of your book the astronaut on the moon the first astronaut who was successful to reach to the surface of the moon was named was neil armstrong some of the very important and the famous uh, spaceships have been launched up till yet which includes the hubble space telescope hubble space telescope what is it as the name indicates hubble space telescope is usually a space telescope that was launched in 1990 that was launched to find the different features of the universe and it is still remains in operation it would be not wrong if i say that it was a no, not first telescope but it is the one of the largest and most versatile telescope I can show you the picture of Hubble Space Telescope. It looks like that you can see. other things we have chandra x observatory what is the chandra x observatory as the name indicates chandra x observatory uh, was also the space telescope uh, launched abroad the space shuttle but uh, it was a flagship class and it was launched by nasa on july 23 1999 so it uh, the purpose of uh, this te telescope was also to find the various facts and figures regarding to the uh, our space so i can show you the picture of chandra x observatory space shuttle like that so when we study the earth and its terminologies we can find a lot of terms related to the earth number one term that is very important is the orbit what is the orbit do you ever know so as we know that all the planets rotate revolve around the sun in their own paths they have their own paths so they revolve around the sun in their own paths and that path is known as the orbit similarly the earth revolves around the sun in its own path it has an earth's way and what's the importance of orbit orbit is very important thing in our um, space because if the planet does not have any orbit they usually collide with each other just like if the cars drive uh, on their own path they do not collide with each other similarly if the planets are revolving around the suns in their own paths they are doing their work smoothly and they would not collide each other so just like in this picture you can see the earth is revolving around the sun in its own path and this path the red line is known as the orbit i can read it out from the book for you the path of the earth around the sun is called orbit the other planets and satellites also have their own orbits i hope you will get it 
next term we have in the book is axis. What is the axis? As you can see in the picture, the line that is drawn from the north pole to the south pole. This is the line. This is the imaginary line. This line does not exist in actual on the earth, but this is the imaginary line that is known as axis and that runs from north pole to the south pole through the center of the earth and the earth rotates around it what's the basic purpose of the axis the basic purpose of the axis is to determine the seasons for example if this side of the earth is towards the face of the sun so in this part of the earth and in these countries there would be the summers and on the other sides where the sun are far that would be the winters for example in pakistan these days summers are drawing near so that's where earth is rotating on its axis and it is started shaping towards the sun that means the suns are drawing near so that's a uh, significance or uh, significance of the axis and the earth is tilted at 23.5 degree on its axis i can read it out from your book too this is an imaginary line running from north pole to south pole through the center of the earth the earth is tilted at 23.5 degree on its axis i hope you're getting it next is equator what is equator equator is a one of the most known terms related to the study of the earth equator equator is basically an imaginary line that divides the earth into two parts equator is usually located at the zero degree of the earth equator divides the earth into two halves in the horizontal direction and this is the imaginary line i can read it out from the book too an imaginary line that runs all the way around the middle of the earth is known as equator and next is the hemisphere Asha, equator and hemisphere are similar to each other what's the difference between that just like the equator hemisphere also divides the earth into two parts but as hemi means half and it divides uh, equator is only the horizontal line but hemisphere it would be a vertical and it divides the earth into western hemisphere and eastern hemisphere and it could be the horizontal northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere you can find it out on the picture on your book too Hami means half, the equator divides the earth into northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. For your clarity regarding to these terminologies including axis, equator, hemisphere and orbit, I am sharing a YouTube video with a link below and you can ask me any query regarding this topic. So please read these topics at your home from your book. I am sharing the picture of these uh, pages in the group as we all know that books are not readily available at the bookshops so for your ease i'm sharing the picture of uh, these pages and also the video plus i will give you the home assignment and i'm I, i'm hoping you will do it religiously as this time is very important for our kids to keep in touch to their academics as this is a golden time so keep yourself in touch with studies thank you so much